They took an oath to serve the country. U.S. soldiers tonight, they're accused of running guns to Chicago. Some of those weapons linked to a recent mass shooting. Our Charlie DeMar joins us now live. Charlie. Brad and Erica, good evening. All three men face a long list of federal charges, some of which include selling guns without a license, taking guns across state lines, money laundering, and fraud. If convicted, all three men face up to 20 years in prison. A gun pulled from a dumpster in March on Chicago's south side was collected as evidence in a mass shooting investigation that killed one and injured seven others during a pop-up party. Federal prosecutors say five guns recovered that day were purchased by three U.S. soldiers based at Fort Campbell along the Tennessee-Kentucky border and illegally sold in Chicago. The firearms were purchased legally from licensed dealers in cities across Tennessee and Kentucky, a total of 91 guns since 2019. The majority purchased in the past five months, then run north to Chicago, fueling city violence. Surveillance video from the night of the mass shooting shows some of the guns now linked to the U.S. soldiers. Michelle Chambers' son was shot in the abdomen with one of those illegal weapons, according to federal prosecutors. I'm tired. I'm so tired of this. I, I really am. I am. Now, during a search of the soldiers' home, prosecutors say they found 50 empty gun cases, which matched the same guns that were found here in the streets of Chicago. We were reporting live tonight in the loop. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Charlie, thank you.